Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and today I'm going to look in in my African night crawlers in my urban worm bag. Oops. All right. Now, if you remember, I've kind of gone to feeding just my shredded leaves for right now trying to get them to finish up all of the bulky food and um, of course give them something that they will enjoy. So let's have a look and see what they're doing in here. Kind of pull back and top layers dry of course but you'll have that. But I can already see some of them are already in in the leaves there's quite a few in a very short amount of time the shredded leaves um, really do start to look really great and in case anybody wants to know here's uh, the remnant of those green bags those compostable bags if you microwave them first before you uh, put them in the worm bin, this is what they look like after about three months. So obviously, still in progress. They're identifiable. So it looks like I, I, I'm not going to have any cool worm balls to show you, because with the when I feed leaves, it does seem to be, you know, all the worms just kind of do their own thing. They're not stuck in any one particular place. But I'm going to dig around a little bit. You can see there's a higher concentration here. I'm going to dig around a little bit. No, let's see, it's an avocado peel. And flip everything over, make sure that the dry leaves get underneath so they can get hydrated and flip everything over and see what they're doing. This makes for, I don't know if the nutrition is any different than, hey, my tea's done. Uh, I don't know if the nutrition is any different from feeding paper, oh, there's the tape off the Amazon box. Uh, I don't know if there's any nutritional differences between feeding leaves and feeding paper. I mean, it seems to me that it would have a difference. Just logically, there's probably more nutrients in that sort of thing than there is just plain old paper, but I'm not really sure if anybody's done any sort of... I remember in some of the books that I've read where people had checked the different nutrient levels, but you know, for the most part, the, the benefits of vermicompost versus regular fertilizer are biological and not chemical. Whereas when you're buying a, a chemical fertilizer, you're looking for NPK, you're looking for micronutrients, and in the case of vermicompost, most people will tell you the benefits are biological in nature because the bacteria and fungus that live in the vermicompost or worm castings, depending on how long you let it process, are you know making nutrients available. Uh, for your plants. So this looks, you know, like it's it's certainly progressing nicely. I'm digging down just a little bit to make sure everything is well combined. And then I'm going to spray it down and make sure that it's a little bit wet. I'll bring you back and I think this time I'm going to put in some of my pre-composted paper bedding. Okay, so one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray down these leaves, make sure that they are not going to just rest on the top and not do anything. This is my one liter sprayer I got at the dollar store. And then, even though it looks like everything's pretty full, I'm going to put a layer of my pre-composted paper bedding. It actually has the grit in it as well as some of the, the nutrients that I put in from the neem cake and the kelp meal and the paper bedding 
what I use to start up the, the bedding with is a little bit of molasses, and that, of course, has some nutrients in it as well. So that is pretty full. I'm probably going to harvest this again pretty soon. It didn't take very much out last time. I was concerned it would fall through. So I'm just going to wet this down just a little bit because those leaves are, the top ones are pretty dry. I want to make sure that I keep everything in here moist, but I don't want it to drip leachate out the bottom. It's pretty good. I'm going to kind of just mix it in just a tiny little bit so that they can make their way to the top and start working on this bedding. So it is a little bit of a change for me. I'm normally putting vegetable compost or vegetable matter and fruit matter in these and I didn't really see a whole bunch of um, growth from my population or growth in the size of my worms. And when I had originally got the African night crawlers, they were pretty good size, and then I had them just basically in leaf matter, and they retained that size. And when I started feeding them almost exclusively paper bedding and vegetables, then they seemed to have lost some size on me. So I'm going to see if bringing back the leaf bedding as the main component will, will help them get back their size. I'm not really sure. They do behave quite a bit differently than the European night crawlers and the red wigglers. And of course the blue worms, it doesn't matter what you feed them, they will not get bigger. So I know, not a terribly exciting update here today. Just kind of a, a maintenance. I mean not everything in the worm world is, is exciting and dramatic. But we did talk a little bit about these compostable bags, and um, I'm not going to purchase them, but I am going to use the ones I've got and keep at it. Um, so that is one topic here, like, you know, do they work? Yes, eventually, if you've got the patience for it. And um, having leaf bedding inside of a house and not seeing any uptick in any sort of secondary bugs that are not worms. So if you, let me dig down just a little bit to show you. But this is primarily leaves. And I don't have, you know, a bloom of anything that's not worms. So... I know a lot of people are concerned that if they put leaf bedding in their bed, in their indoor bins that they're going to have problems with, with bugs. And I, I don't see that to be true. Mango. All right. Well, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, hit that little bell notification. But thank you for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.